Hi everyone. I hope you're all doing well today. This is one of my first videos from our brand new office here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. The lighting is a little bit better than it was in the basement of our Manage Walk office, so that is exciting. Uh, today I wanted to do a video on endometriosis. I had a, uh, a request on um, Facebook to do a video on endometriosis and as this is such a common um, problem for women, I thought that there would probably be a lot of people that could benefit from learning a little bit more about it from a functional medicine standpoint. Endometriosis itself is a condition where the lining of the uterus, um, the cells that line the uterus, get outside of the uterus. Um, and they typically land themselves inside the abdomen in various places, which um, causes a lot of problems for women. Uh, I just looked this up. It, as it turns out, one in 10 women have been diagnosed with endometriosis. And this uh, doesn't just cause uh, uh, terrible, painful, cramping, heavy periods, um, but it is associated with uh, infertility. It's actually the number one cause of infertility. It's associated with um, cysts on the ovaries, um, with a lot of inflammation, um, and it's really a condition that's driven by um, something called estrogen dominance. Uh, estrogen dominance is a condition when there is a mismatch of forces between estrogen and progesterone. I tell people like estrogen it behaves like a gas pedal and progesterone is your brake, and you need to have the right amount of both in order to be hormonally balanced. For women that have endometriosis, we treat this like we treat most conditions that are associated with estrogen dominance. Uh, initially, we have women be very mindful of avoiding what we call xenoestrogens or environmental estrogens. These are uh, pesticides, herbicides, plastics, phthalates, PCBs, bisphenol A, glyphosate, hormones injected into food, soy, which is a, a phytoestrogen. Uh, we have them uh, take supplements that help to expedite the metabolism of estrogen through their own body. Um, these include uh, magnesium, uh, diendylmethane, indole-3-carbinol, calcium deglucarate. We have them use anti-inflammatory supplements, uh, cannabidiol or hemp oil, curcumin, omega-3, um, these are all natural anti-inflammatory. Sometimes we'll also use Boswellia or Japanese frankincense. And then for some women, we also need to use prescription progesterone. Uh, and I'm not referring to a birth control pill, um, which contains a progestin. That's a very conventional way to manage endometriosis. We only use natural hormones, which are uh, made from wild yams to be atom for atom identical to the hormones that are in the human body. And so we use natural progesterone to help offset that mismatch of forces between estrogen and progesterone in a lot of cases. If you have specific questions or concerns above and beyond what I've discussed about endometriosis, please give us a call here at Lindgren Functional Medicine. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Have a great day.